Hello friends, welcome to video 2. In this step by step tutorial, I am going to show you how Android mobile test scenario can be automated and executed on real mobile device using Cylindroid, which is a test automation framework for Android mobile application. Before I start with Android test automation demonstration, here is the list of the things which would be required to proceed further. Android and Java SDK setup, APK file which needs to be tested, mobile device with USB driver, cylinder jar file and mobile application web driver script. To simplify the process, I have divided complete tutorial in four subtopics. The first one is Android SDK and environment variable setup. Second one, Android mobile device setup. The next one is Cylindroid configuration setup and the last one is mobile test execution and monitoring. So let's start the demo with Android SDK setup. Now if you don't have Android SDK, download full setup from the link mentioned on the screen and unzip it to your local machine. Observe folder hierarchy. Inside Android main folder, you will see SDK subfolder and then platform tools and tools subfolder. Please note the location of these folders which would be needed in subsequent section. Before we proceed further, we have to configure environment variables for Android if it's not already set. Please note, this is one time configuration setup. To set up environment variables, go to control panel and then system. Click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables at the bottom of system properties window. In environment variables window, click on new button under user variable and set Android home variable which is the location of SDK folder under the main Android SDK folder. Then in system variable, locate path variable and then click on edit. Append the location of tools and platform tools subfolder of SDK folder here and click on OK button. To enable developer option in Android phone, go to settings, developer options and then select stay away and USB debugging checkbox. It will prompt for USB debugging confirmation. Click on OK button to proceed. Once the developer option is set in mobile, connect mobile device to computer. To make sure your mobile device is recognized by machine, go to command prompt and type ADB devices, which should give you mobile device ID. If the device ID is not displayed in command prompt, then either developer option in phone is not enabled or correct mobile USB driver is missing on computer. For cylinder setup, there is one more environment variable, Java Home, which is needed to set up under user variable. If Java Home variable is not already set up, click on new button in user variable and set Java Home as the part of Java JDK as specified on screen. Please remember, for Cylindrite, you should have Java 1.6 or higher installed on machine. Cylindrite does not have exe to be downloaded for starting server rather needs jar file which could be downloaded from the link mentioned on the screen. Before starting Cylindrite server, please place apk file in the folder where Cylindrite jar file is located. Now to start Cylindrite server, 
go to command prompt navigate to the folder where cylinder jar file is placed and then enter the command like java hyphen jar then cylinder jar file name hyphen aut and then apk file name upon successful processing cylinder server would start on default port 4444 Once the Cylindroid server is started, we are set to execute automation script on mobile device. I have already configured mobile test application web driver script using Eclipse and now I am going to click on run button to start execute. You can see now the script is being executed on mobile device connected to machine through USB. WebDriver scripting for mobile APK is similar to that of browser application scripting. To find out X path of mobile application, you can use cylinder inspector when the test is being executed in debug mode. Cylinder inspector also supports inspecting objects of hybrid mobile application where elements like web view is involved. Now as you see the execution is completed and the application is closed in mobile. So in this tutorial we have seen how Android mobile tests can be automated and executed on real mobile device using Cylindroid. Cylindroid does also support switching from native to hybrid or hybrid to native mobile view within the same test which can be considered a major reason of Cylindroid being so popular nowadays. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on like button and do share it with your friends and colleagues. You would also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website whose URL is flashing on screen to get the latest update. Once again, thank you.